is going to be a video product review of the Bond Tranger dual charger floor pump for your bicycle tires. You could probably use it for more than your bicycle tires. You could probably use it for uh, pumping up your balls. <laughs> <laughs> your basketballs or your raft or your sports equipment so I did a video about six months I don't even know when I started biking again or cycling uh, I did a, a review of the um, I don't even know what it was the other well, what is this uh, Bond Franger I always forget how to say that bike pump, air pump, tire pump, and I think it was about 20 bucks less. And when I first saw this in the store, I said, there's no way I'm going to spend this amount of money on here. That's ridiculous. Then I said, well, it makes it a little easier. Uh, I think it's got a dual, I don't know, what does it have? Ergonomic handle and large gauge for easy, precise inflation. Inflation is always important. Easily change between high pressure and high volume. That's what it was, the high pressure and the high volume setting. Um, Okay, so then that's in German and French, and uh, I don't know what that other thing is. So there are really no instructions. Uh, so I bought this maybe a long time ago, and I'm finally getting around to setting it up, because my tires are probably really low. And so one of them, as I said, is... What, what do we have here? Got a thing that says accessories. Oh, the accessories are here. Okay, so let's go open this up. This is kind of cool. How do you pull this out? Ow. Well, there's some accessories that are in there. I don't know how you pull it out. Do you press this thing? Oh, you push this thing in. So we have a... Uh, there it is to inflate your balls. <laughs> Over there. I don't think the other one had this. I don't think it did. And that is probably to inflate your uh, doll or your raft. We have, this doesn't say accessories, but let's see if this has anything. Um, that has nothing. No accessories there. All right, so is there a little uh, switch Ramos? You disconnect it. I don't know if the hose is longer. You always want to have a long hose. But I don't know if the hose is longer on this one than on, how does this come out? Oh, boy. Wow, this has really got a long hose. This has got a, a humongous hose. So what do we have here? We have a uh, Presta and Schrader. Presta is the old style bicycle, the little round thing, and Schrader is the weird thing that I've got on this bike here. And if I remember right, it works on either one. I don't think you have to do anything with this. Let me go open this thing up. I don't think you have to change anything. Maybe this is going to ruin it, but... Do you have to change anything? No, you don't have to. I don't think you have to change anything. Okay, it should just figure it out. Um, so we've got that. And then I want to show you, oh, if my videos help you, thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment, you know the routine. There it is, dual charger. And then down on the bottom over here, we have a little knobby, high volume or high pressure. So these tires need a lot of, uh, a lot of air in them, so I would say this is high pressure, high volume. I guess that shoots in a lot more air at a, a lower pressure, maybe for a raft or something. We've got a really nice gauge compared to the other one. Uh, yeah, if you want to support my channel, ask for my PayPal info. I'd love to get a donation. Uh, make sure you check out the video description. I don't think uh, Amazon sells this thing. I think you have to buy this on a bike store. So if I can find a link from Amazon, I'll put an affiliate link uh, in the video description. And if not, then just click on the links anyway, the affiliate links. It helps me out if you buy from Amazon. So... Uh, High pressure, high volume. I, okay, let's see. How does that turn? Okay, that works pretty nice. 
Now I'm going to check my tire. I believe it's a 70. So we're going to, where's the, I'm looking for the, uh, oh my gosh. I just had it a minute ago. I'm looking for the tire gauge. I did a video review of this tire gauge. Go check it out. It's actually pretty good. I'm really surprised how good it is. So, and this uh, also has a control for Schrader or Presta. So let's get over to the tire. And on the tire it says inflate 65 to 100. So I think when I took it to the bike store, they did it to 75. So we got this little knobby over here. I'll try to get this over here so I can do some work and get in here and record. There we go. We've got the valve over there. So you have to unscrew the cap, which I'm going to do. And that's way tight. Um, and then on the Presta, there's a little knobber on the end that you have to unscrew. You can see I'm doing that right over here. I'm inside, but I'm not worried about losing it, but I guess you just loosen it. You don't really remove it. You just loosen it. And now, the, the problem I had with the other pump, and I might have it with this pump also, I don't know, is that when... The first thing that's really weird, probably the same on this pump, is it's kind of backwards, because usually on the old pumps, you used to raise this up and you'd put it on the tire, and you'd go boom. And I don't know if that's the same on this. On the other one, I had to put it this way and then lock it upward. So that might be the same case. The other problem I had is when I would, I think I would go take it off and the pressure, when I did it, it would snap on my nail and I'd go, I, ow, that hurt. And it really hurt bad. So I want to check out the pressure first and see. I haven't used this thing in so long. Um... Oh, that worked really nice this time. What are we at? 20 pounds. Not good. I'm squeezing the tire. That's low. So I don't know which way it's gonna it has to go on. I'm gonna do the odd one where I put it downward and see if that locks. It, it locks. It works a lot better than the original. Uh, the other, the cheaper one. And looking at the gauge over there, that's a little under 20, so there it's pretty close. I don't know which one is more accurate, but I'm going to put one foot. I'm going to put just one foot on here, and I want to see we're shooting this age, shooting this in HD. So let's let's see. We've got some lighting. I'm going to raise it up once and pump down, and they gave me about two pounds. Oh, it's very easy, very light really light. I don't know if it's filling the tire. It's filling the tire. This is much smoother. I want I want you to see my pumping action. Let's get the pumping action in there. I think that's showing. This is really a lot easier. I could go over to the high volume and see what that does. I'm kind of getting a little winded here. Pump it away. Um, we are at 50. Okay, I'm going to do this one on high pressure, and on the other one I'm going to try the high volume and see what it does. We're, let's go down here. Much easier, much, much, much easier. So we're at 70, remember I said I wanted to go to, so 65 to 70. You know, with the other pump I was really struggling to do this. And with this pump, I'm at 75 right now. A little bit of work out on my hands, but you know the other one I was just really pressing hard to make it work. Now we're gonna check this thing out. Let me show you what I was talking about. Okay, so I don't want to say it a thousand times that to like, share, and subscribe, but it really helps my channel. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers in 2020, which means I only have 80,000 to go. I, I know it's ridiculous. So the problem I was having is when I'd go and I'd pull this thing down, it would just slam on my nail, and I'd go, "Ow! Wow! 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 Wow!" Let's see what happens. I'm going to be really careful and not put anything underneath there this time. But how does this work? I'm just going to let it snap. Much better. Much, much better. Now you want to tighten up your little knob. 
you never want to have a loose knob so I'm going to tighten the pin on there and then I'm going to go screw the capper on and that was a lot easier oh, I don't like how that turned on there that was a lot easier than the uh, than their cheaper version much easier we are back for the second tire please excuse all the dirt over here there's a lot of dust which is being saved up because I'm going to be testing out reviewing a vacuum in another day and I needed to accumulate a lot of dust to see what happens how it works so we're going to unscrew the little plastic cap and we're going to unscrew this little knobber it's really a weird valve so I'm going to go press on this I think it turns on automatically anyway but I press on it to power it up we get zero and how do we get around here let's check the pressure are we back at another 20 pounds 19 I haven't ridden in probably way too long really way too long so I'm gonna go switch this thing over to high volume now and I'm going to put the valve thing back on I mean the or whatever this thing's called I'm gonna push this on ow man I just hurt my left hand that was that was a little unneeded strain that I just did in the carpal tunnel area so we're at high volume right now and the gauge is reading 19 so I'm really happy with the pump high volume let's see what this does okay now that's definitely harder that's definitely harder and in two pumps I got 10 pounds so it's harder it's a lot harder man it really requires a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of force Whew. but I just went from 20 oh man yeah I think the average person is not going to want to do the high volume I can't I cannot uh, I have to stop now and I'm gonna have to switch this I hope it doesn't blow up I, I'm at 50 on the high volume and I had to switch it to high pressure <coughs> because I couldn't press it anymore I just couldn't pump it anymore <coughs> so I'm getting a little bit of the, the cardio workout over here high volume or high pressure doesn't pump as much air as fast but it's much easier to do we are at 70 I like this pump a lot better so my recommendation if you're gonna do this that once I bought the cheaper one, I, I went, I just took it back. I said, what the heck was I thinking? If you're spending all this money on jerseys and a bike, why are you going to cheap out for another $20? So I went and I bought the, the better pump because I didn't like the cheapy one. And it worked good. So I got this thing pumped up to 75. A little out of breath here. And I'm going to hope this thing does. That's what I was doing. I was going like this, and it was snapping on my thumb. So I'm just going to keep it out of the way. It doesn't pop out like the other. It's a much better pump. This video's gone way too long. I'm going to have to put a ton of ads on it to get everybody upset. Um, okay, so we've got that closed. And we're going to put the big knobby on here. And this probably is good for another couple weeks till it leaks out to 20 pounds again. Hose is really long. I think every man's hand is like six inches. One, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven it's like 12 hand lengths this thing is awesome this is the what did i call it like the dual chamber i think i called it the i want to get this over here so i can have this for the opening screen the uh, yeah that's going to look good with the dusty floor isn't it the bon tranger air pump Thanks for watching, people.